my pals and my name is Ashton. I'm 19 years old and welcome to my channel. Now where you come from is where you belong. Nothing I would trade. I wouldn't have it any other way. You're surrounded by love and you're wanted. So never feel alone. You are home with me. off say that this channel's name was it's all about family but since I don't see my family much anymore I decided to make rename it and call it it's all about my animals since roughly my whole freaking world revolves around my animals and how I take care of them and the, how I take them I take care of them and blah, they they're everything to me so this video is just like an introduction to everyone and me and to say hi to everybody and just show you who everyone is and what species they are and breeds and yeah so I'd like to first introduce you to Muffin. He's a domestic house cat. His sister Peggy is two. They came together. The brother and sister, she's actually sleeping right now so she Sally can't be right here right now, but I will probably post a video or a short clip with her and Muffin. Or a picture, I don't know. But this is Muffin. He's, they are three years old, Muffin and Peggy. It's Peggy Ann, her full name. This is Muffin. It's mean a butt. Okay, whatever. Muffin. Anyways. They are three years old, and they are just the gentlest cats ever. Like, they're so sweet, they're adorable, they are just so stinking cute, and so sweet. They're angels. So, saying that, Peggy is polydactyl. She has extra two toes on each of her front paws. I'll probably show a picture or a video with her paws and they're just so cute. I love them, they're like little mittens. And she is the biggest cat. We only have two right now. She is the biggest one, Pet Muffin. He's kind of like, not slim, but he's kind of like, he's longer than her. She's short and fluffy. <laughs> so yeah, that's Peggy and Muffin, but they're more family cats. They're not my cats. But we all, as a family, take care of them. It's me, my mom, my sister, and my brother that live in the house. And, yeah. So, not my cats, but our cats. So, moving on to the next animals I have. My animals are, I have <clears throat> four guinea pigs. You might say that's a lot, but honestly, it's not really a lot, but they are a handful sometimes, especially Buttercup. Talking about you. <sighs> yeah. But, so I will go in order of when I got them, the first ones I got and the last ones I got. So the first one I got was Charlie. She is three years old. She is a crested gray and white guinea pig. She came from my mom's friend's daughter. Sadly, they couldn't take care of her anymore because I don't, they just couldn't keep her anymore. So I don't want to get into that. But, like, yeah. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. I had to, I've had to redo this like 20 times because of you. Benji, I might even take you out of the room. Okay, so yeah, she's just a sweetheart. She is everything to me. She's just the sweetest girl. She's just so lovable. I will get her out and show you to her right now. Okay, this is Charlie Kenai. She is three years old. She is, a, like I said, a crusty guinea pig. <laughs> Trying to find the blanket. 
Sorry, I had to grab a blanket for her. But this is Charlie. She is focused. Uh, yeah. Her name was actually originally Ralph, and we changed it because we, I don't know, it doesn't fit a girl guinea pig. So we changed her name to Charlie Kenai. She's just the sweetest. She's so, she's so big. She's a fluffy girl, but like, yeah, she's just the sweetest girl. She licks you instead of uh, biting you. She's just, she's so sweet. And yeah, she's very lovable. Just so cute. So that's Charlie. She was my first guinea pig. I got her in on December 28th of 2018 of last year. So she, I will have her a year in December. So that's Charlie. Here's Reese. I got her August 1st of this year. I got her a fr from a friend of a friend. She is maybe one. I cannot be sure on that. But she is a big gal. She is not as big as Charlie, but she is getting there. So she is an obsidian guinea pig. If I'm saying that right. And if I sound funny, I'm getting over a cold. So I'm feeling much better. My throat has cleared up, but it's just I sound sick. Like, and yeah. Char Reese, what are you doing? So this is Reese. Something special about Reese. She does not have two toes in her back right leg. Oh, she has toes. She don't have nails. Reese, do something for me, please. Okay. See? Oh, if it will focus. Well, if you saw it, maybe not. So, she has no two, two nails on her two fat toes. I don't know how that happened. It could have been a birth defect or simply the mother maybe cleaned it, her nails off. I don't know how it happened, but anything could have happened to her toes. I do not know, but she is thriving without her nails. Oh my gosh. <laughs> her two nails. Okay. So she is thriving without them, but she is perfectly healthy. I love her. So, the next guinea pigs I will show you are S'more and Buttercup. I would grab them one second. So, this is S'more. She's my smallest guinea pig. She is a baby. She is 11 months old. 10 months. Correction, 10 months. <laughs> she is 10 months old with her sister Buttercup. Sadly, she doesn't like being held. So I will not get her out for this video. So I will only be showing s'more. Baby s'more. She's little. She, okay, okay, okay. You're okay. So she's 10 months old. I got her from a friend of a friend. Or a friend. I got them. They're sisters. I got them from a friend. And I think she said she got from Petco. I think that's what she said. And... They're just the sweetest. Buttercup, fortunately, she does not like to be held. So, I try to respect that and not pick her up. But S'more, as you can see, she's just a big old cuddle bug. I, she can be squirming because she's a baby. So, she's very wild when you put her down. So, I try to hold her as much as I can just to keep her, like, chill. But once she's running around, she can go crazy. <laughs> Not s'more. So she looks like a s'more. She's a crusted guinea pig, just like Charlie. Or American guinea pig. I don't know. You done? Okay. <laughs> and Buttercup, she is oh, 10 months as well. She is bigger than s'more. So, it's kind of funny. They are the same age, but 
bigger than each other. Or she's smaller than Buttercup. I'm rambling, whatever. Okay, so yeah. Buttercup's personality is just a jerk. <laughs> she can be sweet. I She does do good when I cut her nails. S'more does good. Do they all do good when I cut their nails. So, like, they're a good game thing. But... S'more, she, she is just, as you can see, just chill and laid back. As on the other hand, Buttercup, she'll test me on getting her out of the cage. She'll run around, make me work to get her out. So, I am not working to get her out right now. So, this is S'more and Buttercup. I will post a picture of Buttercup, of course, so you can see her and show you her. And I did get them August 3rd of this year. I got, actually, it was funny. I got Reese on the 1st, and then two, three days later, I got them. Is I got three guinea pigs within three days. Three more guinea pigs. So, they're late in my life. So they do take up much of my time every day. But I'm not trying to the world. They keep me busy. I mean, I don't really have a life, but they're my life, so... Okay, on to the next animal. It's Benji, my par fancy parakeet. I will put her away and then show you him. Name is Benjamin Franklin. We call him Benji for short, since you have to have a shorter name for birds to start saying their name and understanding it. So I got him August, or October 21st. Age is unknown, but I got him from a pet smart. Hi, buddy. Now, if anyone has any experience taming and caring for them, please leave me comments on how to do that or send me links. So I know what I'm doing. Honestly, I've looked it up. He is on his third week here. So I have been getting him used to my hand outside the cage. But I don't know if that's normal. <laughs> Like, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or something, but he is so sweet and lovable. Like, I don't know if he's sweet because I haven't tested if he's sweet, but. So, yeah, that's Benji. This is my baby guy. He is. It is a newest member of our family. I got him October 26th. So, him and Benji kind of came around the same time. I got him from the same person that gave me Reese. And he's just so cute. I've only had dwarf hamsters in my life. So, a Sierra, I have never had a Syrian hamster before. It is totally different than having a dwarf. Just telling you. Because... He is so sweet, though. Like, he's just the sweetest little guy. Yes, you are. Yeah. I named him Gus. His name, oh, his full name is Gus Albert Einstein. <coughs> I forgot to say that Buttercup's full name is Princess Buttercup. I forgot to tell you that, but that's what her name is. But he's just the cutest. He has never bitten me since I've gotten him. And he's just a sweetest little guy. Here you are. Yeah, my cats, honestly, they love animals. So, he does not care. I do watch them when they are out. But he, see, as you can see, he can care less. He'll only, only... Only sniff him, and that's about harm he will do. He has no harm, but he's really rarely around my cat, so don't worry. I was just showing you that he does. He is good with animals, especially small animals like Gus. So this is Gus. He is a climber. That's a phone. You can call somebody. Say subscribe. I'm good. Subscribe to my mommy. This is his cage right now. And so no one gets upset with me. I know this is a 
20 gallon, I think. But I know it is too small for Sierra's. Sierra, whatever. So I know, and I am getting a bigger one. I'm getting a bin tank for him. And where are you going? Okay, subscribe and like this movie. Or movie. It's cause, okay, you say it. Yeah. We do a video. Like. Like and subscribe this video and subscribe for more animal videos and a lot more stuff. Subscribe! Can we get a video? It's not where you come from, it's where you belong. Nothing I would trade.